it's Melanie from iCreamAdvisor.com and today I want to talk to you a little bit about a product called Revital. I just ordered the product, I just got it in and during the course of the next couple few videos we're going to be applying it, I'm going to be wearing it daily and I'm going to let you know how it works for me. Basically the product according to the site does three major things which is reduce puffiness, reduce dark circles and minimize fine lines and wrinkles. Puffiness is sort of a concern for me, some days more than others, I'm sure you get that uh, as well. You know, there are some days where you're just more tired or you're retaining fluid. It's a little bit of a concern for me. Bigger for me is the fine lines and the under eye circles. I have just in the past year or so been kind of noticing for the first time that when I smile and I stop smiling, it, the lines that form from smiling don't just go away anymore. Oops. Um, and get, uh, what I have is um, probably difficult to see on the camera, but I have tiny little cross hatching kind of look or pattern to the lines in my eyes. This is how it came to me. It came by a UPS. As I said, again, really fast. Oh, it's worthy of note that the company is in California. I am also in California. That's maybe part of why it came so quickly for me when I didn't use the rush delivery. Here it is. Pretty. It's one half ounce. I paid just under $40 for the half ounce. This looks big for half an ounce. Because, oh, because this is really some thick, sturdy plastic. Um, good, because I really abuse my product packaging. <laughs> Zipping it up. There's a little protector it wound up in my cap. Okay, so here's the fun part. We're going to apply the product and see how it goes on, how it feels. Um, I also want to kind of just show you the proper way to apply any product that you put underneath your eye. Because the skin is so fragile, you just don't want to be aggressive with it. And if you notice, if you apply products by pulling outward, you are pulling outward. Even if you use a really light touch, looking in the mirror. You know, and you can see that it bunches up, even if you're really light with it, you're pulling it out and you're overstretching that skin. And we do you lose that elasticity as we get older. So you don't want to mess with that. You want to be really gentle and instead of smoothing like that, you want to work from the outside in. Now take your middle or index finger, which is going to produce a lighter touch. Start from the outer corner where you would generally see crow's feet over time. Go all the way into the base of the eye, uh, near the base of the nose actually. So you're going to use a light dab called a feathery touch. So we start outside and we go in. Gentle dabbing. Looking in the mirror. Hmm. And okay, it's kind of like a lotion. It's yeah, it's lotiony. It's not too thick, and it's not watery. Right in between. And with this amount of dabbing that I've done so far, it's starting to absorb. So not bad. You know, you want it to absorb quickly because the less manipulation in the area, obviously the better. The less pulling of any kind, even if it's this little gentle method, oh yeah. You know what, it's pretty much absorbed now. So that's a good thing. I wanted to give you an update at the two week point of my trial of Revitol eye cream. This is cream. Um, as I said, I've been using it for two weeks now. I'm supposed to give it the full four weeks to see the full effects, but I've been seeing one or two changes, so I just wanted to report those to you. Basically, as far as the fine lines and wrinkles issue is concerned, I am seeing a softening of the look of those already, which is pretty exciting to me. I didn't see it in the first week, but like I said, I'm giving it the full trial. So um, along about um, the middle of this week I was starting to realize that I just really wasn't seeing them as much when I looked um, close up in the mirror which is really really nice. As far as the firming activity goes I have not had bags under my eyes since I started using that product. I don't get a ton of bags under my eyes anyway usually only when I'm tired but I would give that 
pretty much a plus um, because there should have been one or two days in there in which I was battling with that and I really haven't. As far as the dark under eye circles are concerned, I'm not sure I'm seeing a change in that yet. So I'm going to give that the four weeks and see if we have more of a dramatic change there that you can see in pictures. Um, and I'll report back to you then. I've been using the cream for four weeks now. I've been using it as instructed twice a day, morning and night. Um, it's been a really great experience. I really did enjoy this cream. Basically, um, the most improvement that I saw in the cream was in my fine lines, which I have underneath my eyes. That was an almost immediate result. So within the first week, I was definitely seeing less of, um, you know, that cross hatching and the kind of crepiness that nobody likes. Um, I was really impressed with that. It also definitely had a firming effect for me. I do tend to get bags under my eyes, especially when I'm tired, of course, and um, I did see a nice result from that. I haven't really had an issue with baggy eyes on any day that I can think of in the four weeks that I've been using this cream, and generally I'd have a good few days in there where I just, I just get puffy. and. Um, so I was definitely very pleased with that. The third thing that I noticed was with the under eye circles. That did take a while. It did take a couple of weeks before I began to see results from that. But I definitely think that um, this product has lightened those a little bit, and that is a major concern for me. I have always had a huge issue with dark circles under my eyes. Um, the price was really pretty good. It was a little less than $39. The jar is supposed to last for four weeks and I have completed four weeks and you know honestly I have about a third of a jar left which is so cool. Um, it's definitely going to last me way more than four weeks and I will continue using it. So um, as a mid-tier priced eye cream I would definitely give it a good couple of thumbs up there. Give it a shot and do let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.